You already know what's happening in Houston, and it's moving east to flood more cities. However bad you understand this to be, it's way worse. Click on the link in the written blog and scan through the maps to understand the enormity of the storm and the millions of people who are affected. As bad as it is, the water won't be gone for almost a month, and these people need our help now. So if you don't have a flat bottom boat you can haul to the cities to rescue people in Houston, Port Arthur, and Beaumont, click on the link in the written blog to connect to a list of good organizations that are helping there, and give from your heart by way of your wallet. Now is a really good time to do that. And another thing. This is a love note to the white supremacists of all stripes, neo-Nazis, KKK members, and especially Sheriff Joe Arpaio. This is not just a critical time in America. It's a critical time for you as well. It's a choice or inflection point in our unfolding history. So here's the exercise you must do if you're to choose wisely and prove that you have the spine of red, white, and blue that you claim. First, build a bonfire. A big one. Stand as near as you dare and gaze into the flames, feeling the cleansing power of fire. You know, like the cleansing you used to do to blacks, Jews, immigrants, and other undesirables. Next, gather your KKK bedsheet and hood, your Nazi armband and flag, and your SS and brown shirt outfits, and the police badge you used to justify violating people not just like you, and throw it all into the fire. Throw every scrap of hate literature. Yes, burn those books. Your imitation Luger pistol and holster, the posters on, on your bedroom wall, the framed pictures of Adolf Hitler, Nathan Bedford Forrest, and Jefferson Davis that adorn your hate shrine, and all the official membership cards in your wallet, and even your prized tiki torch. Throw all of it into the fire. Finally, stand and watch as the fire purifies America. Let it purify you. If you don't have the courage to do that, if you find that the colors of your spine really aren't red, white, and blue, you're a weasel. Read Maureen Dowd's column from August 19th. There's a link in the written blog, and you'll understand. I'm Jack Alshuler.